<laughs> Hello! Hi! Welcome to my channel. It's time for the monthly anti haul. Sorry, it's a little late. I had four job interviews in the past week. Don't think I'm gonna get any of them, but you didn't. It was a busy week. Can you shush? The month of April. It's a pretty decent month. May, though. I don't have money for this. Really hope I'm getting one of those jobs. Oh, anti-haul. Right. If you are new to this, an anti-haul is where you just kind of discuss things that you're not buying. So... I do that with my K-pop stuff. Bye, Shy Guy. So I go through all the releases of the past month and I discuss things that I didn't buy, why I didn't buy them. It's all in good fun. I apologize if I say something maybe not nice about one of your faves, but you know, we all have tastes. We all have our own opinions. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Just get over it. So I'm going to, you know, first just go through the list of the things that I did buy. So you know I'm not going to be talking about this in this video. Okay. Wendy, like water. I got, I guess, all three versions. There's two versions and then a vinyl. I collect all of Red Velvet. So. Lunar Solar. Solar Rise. I think I ended up getting two copies of this. Oops. Stacy Statum. I think I also got two copies of that for some reason. BB Life is a Bee. Only, only one of that. Itsy, guess who? I got all three. All three versions of that. Women. Bunch of women. All women. I've got my drink. Linen Kugel. Summer Shandy. Cheers. It's a shandy. On ye un to the island. Might not know who this is. <laughs> Cause she's not really K-pop. <laughs> she's a little weird. But I like her. I like I like her kind of weird. I was surprised this had a physical. I don't think I have a place for this in my collection. It's, it feels weird to buy this album. So I'm just not gonna do that. But it was good. I can't like necessarily recommend it thinking you'll like it. You need to try it out. <laughs> Astro, all yours. I don't think Astro's for me. I think for a while I tried really hard to, you know, make Astro like the group I'd like. I don't think they're a group I, I vibe with, you know? There were a few songs I liked and, you know, I, I kind of bobbed my head while I was listening, but I, no, nothing was going on my playlist of favorites, no standouts, nothing I can recall. My one like positive, I guess, remark is I kind of like, you know, the idea of the box set packaging. I like when albums with multiple versions have like a box like set for it. I think it's cool, but yeah, I'm, just, I'm not buying this. Lee Jin Yuk, scene 26. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? This had to have been the weirdest thing I think I've ever listened to when it came to a K-pop album. And I feel like I've listened to some weird stuff. <laughs> what a trip. <laughs> you have to listen to it to just understand of like, not your typical K-pop album. It wasn't boring. And that's like a huge like praise when like for this because so many times I listen to these albums I normally would not really listen to and forget it while I'm listening to it I'm still not buying this there's no no reason to for me for me you can buy it that's fine I don't care what you do but I'm not buying it D Crunch Daydream my notes aren't too kind on this and by that, I really mean I didn't write any notes. So, 
I guess we're just gonna move on to the next one. Yukika, time about. Yukika is interesting. Uh, city pop, that's her thing. I'm not a city pop person. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Weather Channel music. The intro to this slaps and was the best track. Perhaps by coincidence, it was also the one track where she does not sing. Not that it's her fault, but the instrumentals are just so cool in her songs that like that's the part I really like. So to have the song that's just all the instrumental was really fun. I like this a lot more the second time I listened to it. I think it was almost like too hyped up on release amongst like my friend group. She looks really pretty with the pink hair. I wish I stand. I support Kim Jaewon Change. Jaewon. J J J. I liked Pray. Is that the title? I actually don't know. But that was a surprise. And then Hin, my queen. She was on a track. Oh, if you don't know Hin, you're missing out. She is the ballad legend. And like normally, you know, you think ballads, you're going, ugh, snooze. Not with Hin. She has the greatest voice of all time. Not exaggerating whatsoever, actually, on that. Her voice is fantastic. <laughs> her with him i just wanted her because I, I love her voice more him give me a him physical album to buy as for the rest of this album i don't remember anything so bay one seven two three intersection trace us i really it's not bay <laughs> bae one seven three they're they're bay one seven three <laughs> I don't remember them sounding this edgy before on debut. Weren't they like cute? Didn't I like their debut? Because I was like, oh my gosh, this is like up my alley, kind of. And then this was nothing like that. So that's confusing. There was swearing in this. That's right. I was, oh, I was appalled. The title track for this gave me Big Bang vibes. Like a YG style kind of like boy group sound. Did anyone else get that? It was kind of weird. Like I kind of liked it, but I don't. I don't know because it's like it's not Big Bang. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any of their stuff. Granted, this is their first comeback, so. But yeah, just, yeah. No. Shiny Atlantis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So remember how I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy Don't Call Me because there's going to be a repackage. I'll buy the repackage. Here I am not buying the repackage. I want to buy it. I do. I do want to buy it. Just not right now. <laughs> I have to pick and choose pretty carefully on where my money's going. I'm doing a bad job about it, but you know, some cuts need to be made and... When I had the albums in my cart and I saw the total and went, Loop, Shiny was the first to go. I apologize, Shiny. I love the new songs. I love this album. But here, okay, here's the thing. I don't have a Shiny collection. It's just like Taemin and Jungyung albums and one Shiny album. I don't think I'll ever have a Shiny collection. I'm kind of in this weird phase of trying to decide, do I want to even attempt, to, like, st st I don't, I don't know if, like, do I really want to have just, like, a few shiny albums? Oh, wait, I do have a shiny, I have misconceptions, what am I talking, okay, so I have two shiny albums, 
if, if I ever got to pick like an album I could have for free, I would, it's probably my first choice of like albums from this year. Maybe. Oh, I don't actually know. Mm. It's on the list. And maybe at the end of the year, when I have like, you know, the remaining amount of money in my budget, or if I get that new job, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's all I had to say. Let's just let's, let's continue. Win Red. Don't collect Mama Moo. I really should sell the one Mama Moo album I have because I don't like just having one album for my group. So, hmm. Hmm. I don't know if you've watched an unboxing of this album, but um, you have to literally like rip it to open it so <clears throat> no 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 possibly the stupidest thing kong daniel yellow this was like better than i thought it'd be i don't know i like i kind of don't mind daniel's solo career that much i forget that he has a solo career sometimes but eh, it, was, it was okay. His album's another one I should probably sell. I really should just declutter my collection. Okay, and like also, so like all of Daniel's albums are like named after colors. And like I was wondering, is there like a particular reason why an album is a specific color? Because like they're not all, it's not just like red. Like this one was yellow. Wien's was red, <laughs> but like we had like magenta and cyan, where we had like chartreuse, <laughs> periwinkle. Like what's 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 the theme? Like is there? Am I looking? Am I thinking about this too much? I don't get it. But like cool, sure. Only one of instinct part one. I didn't realize this was a part one, so beginning a part two at some point I suppose. I also thought this was an album but I guess it's it's a mini but there were extra like songs like on the physical release so that was weird. Everything about this was weird. It was like sex. Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting. They did member versions for this. How... There's something kind of ballsy about being a not, like, high mid to top tier group in doing member versions. Especially when you have as many members as they do. You don't, you don't see it often. And usually you see it with groups that know that they have either, like, a really huge fan base who have, you know like, or probably have, like, solo stands, or they will collect every single album. And I can't imagine only, there's a lot of only one of fans who are purchasing every single copy. Of this, I mean, I'm sure there are, but, like, I don't know. I can't, I'm curious what the sales look like for that. Am I thinking about this too much? I'm trying to think. What's the last time, like, a kind of new goo group did member versions? I mean, not counting, I guess, like, Luna pre-debut. But, like, it, it's so rare. It's always, like, the same, like, top groups, you know? You Seventeen does it. Super Junior does it. NCT does it. And then you see it, like, in Japanese versions, I guess. But still... It, I was surprised. It was weird. Everything about this comeback was weird. Yeah, I'm not buying. I'm not buying any of it. Donkey's Universe. Only one song. What is this? What what is what is this? Thing? What the? No! Don't give me one song. I love Donkeys. I love them so much. They're like one of the only boy groups. I don't know. They're one of the few boy groups that I like. I really like, but I don't buy any of their stuff. That's because they just release singles. But that's because they don't have money. Maybe they have more money if I supported them. But I'm just one man. 
I can't fund their career. So I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not buying, I'm not buying their stuff. I'm sorry, donkeys. I'm really sorry. I also don't know any of your names. So I'm kind of, I don't want to say a fake fan, but there's, I enjoy, I enjoy some donkeys. But I'm not collecting them. Yoon Ji Sung, Temperature of Love. I feel like there's a lot of 101 this month and X1, but that's just every month, man. I can't wait for it to be, oh my gosh, there's so much Eyes One branches this month. Oh, that's going to be the dream, but I'm not going to talk about them because I'm just going to buy all of it anyway. Uh, why do I do these? Why do I talk about the stuff I don't care about? Yoon Ji Sung. Ji Sung was actually one of my biases in 101, but it was because he was really funny. And I don't know. I think it's so weird that he's a soloist. I guess it's because of his age. He's a little bit on the older side to be joining like a new group, which I get. I, f I forgot he came back from the military. That flew by so fast. But uh, yeah, no, I didn't get his last stuff, so... No point in starting now. Day six, the book of us. Negentropy, chaos swallowed up in love. Whoa. It sounds like something I would like name a poem I wrote at the age of 14. Day six. Day six. Wow, it's weird. It's weird seeing them back. It's been a while since I bought a Day6 album. I feel like we've, we've had that character arc for me on through these anti-hauls of when I used to buy Day6 albums and then when I kind of stopped. If you ever feel like you're kind of on edge about collecting a group, try not buying an album for one comeback and see if you ever go back. Because <laughs> if you never end up going back to buy it, it probably means you don't really want to collect the group after all, or they're not a high priority. I found if you skip one comeback and then the next comeback happens and you still haven't bought that last one, you kind of tell yourself, well, I didn't buy the last one. So like, it feels weird to be buying this one. And that's, that's what's kind of kept happening with every day six release. And now I've hit this point where if I want to complete the collection, it's gonna, it's gonna cost some money, right? It's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a little bit of a pricey haul that I don't, I would, I would rather take that money, spend it to elsewhere, to the higher priorities, the groups that I love more. So I used to love day six and it just hasn't been the same. I don't know if I've changed or if they've changed. It's just not like, it's just not working out anymore. I don't know. I've also just kind of found I'm not a K band person. I like my bubblegum pop. Day six gets me angsty, moody music, which you know I can appreciate when I'm in that mood. I don't know. That was a long way of saying that I'm not buying this album. Newest romanticize i hate when albums have all like member solos like i just don't care to get a solo from every member like i understand why they do it but i don't want it that was i guess the most notable thing I had to say about this. I, I don't know. There's been some newest stuff that I've liked. This wasn't one of my favorite albums that they've released, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna ever own a newest album. Who knows? Who knows though? Never say never. <laughs> P1 Harmony. Disharmony. Breakout. I like them. I think they're like easily my favorite boy group from 2020. Like they're kind of hype. I dig. I'm not gonna buy it though. I didn't buy the last one. 
not by miss i don't know i don't know i don't know these boys i don't know any of their names but i'm enjoying them i'm not looking for any new boy groups for my collection right now i'm already struggling to collect the ones that i have been collecting for years now so no no time to be starting new new collections unless i like love them in hypen border carnival this was good but they don't grasp me like txt does and i i don't want to compare them like i know txt is txt and hypen is in hypen you know you don't have to like compare them but there's it's it's, it's, it's gonna happen i'm not on the in hypen train maybe it's because i didn't watch the show i don't know but like they're not bad but like i haven't had like a, maybe i should watch a live stage maybe that that'll change my mind probably not giving them a fair enough chance but it's like also like i said i don't i'm like afraid to like start collecting a new boy group because it's like there's, uh, uh, i collect too much i collect too much ab6 mo complete have a dream is that really what it's called more 101 <laughs> this is gonna be kind of a harsh thing to say so if you're if you're in an ab new maybe vert your ears for this i never really looked forward to an ab6 release and that they're not like a group i have any kind of like attachment to like when they come back they come back i might check it out but probably not so because of that mindset they can easily impress me and i was quite impressed with this i was surprised i was like ooh, okay and yeah, it, was, it was fine it was, it was good unexpected yeah thumbs up from me but am i buying it don't think i'll ever buy one of their albums no offense to them but no no new boy groups no no new boy groups no room hot issue issue maker i don't know why this is actually here because i think i'm buying this i'm i'm definitely buying this wait <laughs> why wait <laughs> hot issue new girl group now there might be no room for new boy groups, but there is always room for new girl groups. Love me, girl groups. Love this group. Oh my god. Gratata and We Go are so good. I learned the member names like faster than I think I've ever learned a group. <laughs> I'm so excited for this group. I love it so much. I almost wanted to do a like the my music taste fan sign thing but like i know i'm not gonna get it because i'd only ever buy I, I would just buy one copy and like the, the chances of that and i'm gonna save my money for you know other stuff because it's, it's a lot of money to do one of those fan sign potential fan sign things so but i love them i love them ah on and off city of on and off i love ugly dance that's one of my top boy group songs of the year that's such a vibe and then the b-side the uber the, the, the uber, uber mom whoa i wasn't a huge fan of the album was it my name is name it whatever the non-repackaged yo the additions yo now if only they could get good packaged albums what the hell wm oh the cd is like why do they do this? like uh, they must have the ugliest k-pop collections oh my god that's a video idea what group has the ugliest collection yeah i don't have any of on and off stuff because ew 
it was in the packaging. It's like, no, their music's good. I'm, I'm fine with them. <laughs> and that was the last album. But, 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 but. Extras. First thing I'm going to talk about, because we were talking about it on and off, on and off has a light stick, finally. Yay! Woo! It's pretty. I like it. It's nice. It's no Oh My Girl light stick. But <laughs> nothing's stopping that. Uh, I will... I'm not buying this. It's pretty sure, but like, I don't have any of their albums. I don't think I will ever see them in concert. So there's no point. No point in having this. So, nope. And speaking of light sticks, there's also the boys' light stick. What is this? Uh, um, hmm. I love an innovative design, but, uh, hmm. It's unique. But is it good? Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm, I don't, I don't want this. No, no, no. BTS Map of the Soul one on e concept photo book. This is too expensive. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> no shot. Am I spending 50 books, like 50 bucks? And then there's like two of them. It's like over a hundred. No, sorry, BTS. Finally, we got the 13 tapes. Hoshi? I don't know what this is, but I'm guessing it's, I mean, it's 17. Are they all getting like a mixtape thing and then some kind of photo book? What is, what is this? But there's going to be 13 of them. So there's going to be one for every member. And <laughs> no, no, no shot. No, nope, 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 nope. Not doing it, 17. Not doing it. I, when was the last time I bought a 17 thing? Oh my gosh. This is so sad thinking about collections that I kind of just stopped. Hoshi is the bias though. So if I were to buy one of these 13 tapes, it would be his. I don't know. I need to see what this is. I'm so confused. That's it. That was the anti-haul. I've talked about a lot of things. And now I am tired, so I'm going to bed. But feel free to comment below your thoughts on any of the releases from this past month. Stuff you're not buying, stuff you did end up buying. Your thoughts on what I said. I feel like I wasn't really, um... This wasn't my best anti-haul. Like I said, it's been, I've been busy. But I wanted to get the video out there. And now it's out there. I am really excited for the month of May. This is going to be a great month. This is the month of women. I'm so here for it. I'm sick of these men. They keep coming back so often. And we wait so long for the girl groups. Uh, I can't be too mad. I'm happy. Uh, my bank account's not. But uh, whatever. Yeah, I never know how to end a video, so I am just going to say that you look like a snack. No. And I'm going to go to bed now. And you should go to bed too. Get some rest. Relax. Gosh, you work too hard. You know that? Uh, you got stuff in the in the description i have a p.o box if you ever feel like sending me anything i don't know why you would um i have a th at, at a thousand subscribers there's just there's a sub goal we have a sub goal uh, yeah sub goal at a thousand subscribers i'm going to get a tattoo Ooh. and i'm gonna see you later unless you don't ever watch me again and in that case i'm surprised you made it this far in the video Anyway, toodaloo, buckaroo.